Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create fall damage. So here's what I got. Um, here's the player with uh, some HP. There in the left corner, uh, top left corner, you can see uh, the velocity. If I jump, I change uh, yeah, the speed direction and on based on the z-axis. So if I am jump here from the top, I will get the most damage because the number there is the uh, yeah, biggest number. And as you can see, I lost 50% uh, or 100 HP. And if I jump here from uh, the middle, I would just lose 10. So yeah, this system is based on the height and you can play with the values like you want. And yeah, let's get started. So open up your browser and create a third person character. And I would just call it falling Damage tutorial I'll create it. And I made a mistake with the name, but yeah, never mind. So let's work on this project here. So first let's create uh, the HP bar. So create a new user interface. Call this just HP. And it will be very simple, just a progress bar. Pull it in here. Let's make the anchor here uh, at the bottom middle. Then zero everything out here. The size can be 500 or something. And this will be 15. And the alignment will be one for both. Or for the x-axis made 0.5, so it's in the middle. And here we can do minus 15, so this is a bit uh, higher. And then we can change the color opacity green or red, like you want. I will just pick a red color here. And you can play here with the value, but we will actually bind this. So here's a bit of a yeah, magic trick. So we need two variables. So this one will be a float, which will be current HP. And the next one will be max HP. So both need to be editable and exposed on spawn. And then just bring in the current HP and the max HP. And what we do here is we just divide the max HP by uh, the current HP by the max HP. So let's change the name here. Max HP like this. And all this does is it uh, automatically uh, turns your max HP, if it's 500 or something like this, uh, to the perfect uh, zero value. So yeah, this will work perfectly. So just connect them, compile and save. And then let's do the map. So here I just want to create a small landscape and I want to remove here the wall. So next up, bring in your uh, stair here, press Control W to duplicate this. So we can actually get here some uh, yeah, stairs. Then press here on this lock and just type in 2 so it's a bit bigger. With spacebar you can change here the, uh, yeah, the, the options. And again W, duplicate, bring this up. This doesn't need to be very correct, it's just for testing. So just bring this up here and one more like this so we can get here uh, yeah, a demo damage and then let's work on our character. So open up your third person character here and let's create a begin play. And on event begin play we want to create a widget. And this widget will be our HP widget. And we want to promote this to a variable so we can exit it. And of course, never forget add to viewport so we can actually see this. Then we promote these two to variables so current HP and actually max HP. So the current. Oh yeah, compile before and then give them some values. So this one will be 200 
and our max HP is 250. And as you can see, it automatically uh, yeah gets the percentage of this. So yeah, um, that's it to show the HP. Can get this a bit down here and here work on our falling damage. And for this, we will use the event tick. And this is also very simple. Uh, for debug, I will add here a sequencer. And I will get here a print. So we are printing and can see the velocity. And to actually bring in the velocity, we get the character movement here. We get the velocity. Scroll down, here's the velocity. Then we break this velocity. Pull this a bit out. And then we can actually get this here into the print string node. So we can see the velocity now. So if we play and jump, we can see the velocity. So now on the Z value, I will um, work with yeah, the actual numbers. So if this value is less than or equal minus 1500, and if this is one greater or equal minus 1500, oh yeah, like this, then make an end. So if this is true, it's between those two. So we get a branch here. If this is two, true, sorry. Um, we want to actually make a damage variable. Float and rename this, again, damage like this. And then just set it here. And if we are in this value, we want to set the damage to 10. Do an if again, and from the false we make another check. Copy this over here, bring this in, connect this, and here is minus 1500 now, and here is minus 1715. So if it's between this value, we want to make a damage of 20, of course. And if this is not true, so if, um, the z is get it here less than less than or equal minus one thousand seventy and seven one thousand seven hundred fifty one so like this so we get not here the same values can actually do this here also so like this um then we want to set the damage to uh, yeah, we can say 300, so we are dead or something like this. You can play with this value, or you can just get here from the true, just uh, destroy the actor, and then we're dead. Like you want, I will just do 300 damage here, and yeah, like this. And um, to actually do now damage, we uh, want to get another uh, function here, which is the event on landed. So if we hit the ground, and all we do here is um, we get the current HP, we subtract float of the damage. So the damage we determined here, and then we set this to the current HP, so it's a bit less now. And also we need to get the HP and set its current HP. Like this. And then after we did this, um, we want to set the damage to zero because we would otherwise uh, always on jumping, um, yeah, subtract uh, the damage we set it here. So yeah, that's all for this time. Let's just test it. So we have 200 out of uh, 215. Now if I jump here, we lose 20. Jump again, we won't lose anything. And if I go now to the top, um, yeah, we lose everything. And maybe you can just add an um, 
yeah, uh, destroy actor here. So um, we can do here a check every time we land. So if um, our current up HP is less or equal zero, um, well, let's do this before. So disconnect them like this. So if uh, our current HP is uh, zero or less than zero, then we want to destroy the actor. There it is. Compile and save. Let's play this. So now if we jump here from the top. Oh, I was not fast enough. Or not high enough. So let's do this again. So here and jump. Uh, yeah, and we're dead. So basically that's all from this part. And yeah, if you have uh, some other wishes for this or tips or, or questions, just ask them below and I want to, will add them in uh, future versions of this. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.